Hey everyone, I hope you had a really great day trading today. So today at open, we did gap up above the implied move for the day, and we did gap above this bear gap that was left open and above the highs of the year and completely outside of the implied move. So really big opening move. And from there, we did come down to fill this gap about, I'd say 25% of the way. And then from there, we traded on the upper half of the range and we closed within the implied move uh, at the top of the range. So we did close up 0.8% and we did have a RSI, I'm not gonna say it was a divergence, bullish divergence, because that would imply that this was lower. And, but we did have some support right there. And we do have this 444, the highs of the year, right there. And with that support there, it makes me wonder if with um, PPI tomorrow, if we do get favorable numbers, maybe we take a bounce off of that 444 and maybe try and make a run for 450. But I'm definitely getting ahead of myself. That was today's trading range. Let's go check out tomorrow's levels. So tomorrow's implied move from options is between 4.43 and 4.48 and historical volatility takes that out a dollar more in each direction, 4.42 to 4.49. And then to the upside, we do have a small resistance here where we did make the new highs of the year and that is 447.5. And the only reason I call it a small resistance is that I believe that if we do see good numbers tomorrow, that this will not stay in the way, that we will push up to 449, 450. And then to the downside, we do have a smaller support, 445. So basically, today's range would be the smaller supports for tomorrow. So that is at 444.8. And then just below that, we do have 444, which were the previous highs of the year. You can see right there the resistance, resistance, and then we can watch to see if that level 444 turns into support. And then underneath there, we do have this small gap that was left over from the gap wars last week. That was the bear gap that was open, and then this bull gap. And oftentimes when you have two of the gaps, that is the price does get drawn into there and there's a little bit of a battle. So that is what's on the bottom side of tomorrow's trading range. Underneath that, we don't really have a whole lot until the 30 minute 200 moving average, which has been a really strong support level over the, really in this entire year. And I did want to point out on a few different time frames. So for our time frame, we are seeing a bearish divergence right there. Just switching my colors up a little bit. So bearish divergence because you see the price going higher and the RSI getting lower. And that also shows on the one day time frame. Um, and right there. And then I did notice something. I'm going to switch over to SPX because this has a lot of levels on it, but SPX is relatively clear. But if we go on to the monthly time frame and we throw on the Fibonacci levels and we use the bottom of COVID and then these were the tops last the top in 2022 
and then th these were the lows, the pullback, 350-ish level right here. And so with that being the levels we go off of, we are right at a level right here. It's going to be 4495 in SPX, that that level, if it does break up, then we might see a push higher to 480. That is the all-time highs. I personally don't think that we will. I do want to read a quick article and um, I am bearish but I am going to read some articles and make them really both sided and well rounded. I try and keep my analysis non-biased but this one is a more bearish article not in the near term but it, the bigger picture and it says S&P 500 could top the 4500 mark but not for long, says Ox Oxford Economics. The S&P 500 and the Dow are about 7% below record levels. Don't get too giddy if the S&P 500 index market eclipses the 4500 mark because a U.S. recession still looks likely, according to John Canavan, lead U.S. analyst at Oxford Economics. Bond yields retreated, stocks rose, and the dollar sank to its lowest level since April 2022 after U.S. consumer prices cooled more than expected in June, adding to hopes for the Federal Reserve to soon end its rate hiking cycle. Bullish tones about the Fed's chances of creating a soft landing for the U.S. economy while taming high inflation through higher rates could lift the S&P 500 back above 4,500 in the months ahead. However, he thinks an economic slowdown starting later this year will prevent the S&P 500 from returning to its 2022 record high. The stock market also likely will lose ground later in 2023 and struggle for gains in the decade ahead. And that's what really got me was the decade ahead. And I do believe that this is going to be a decade long recovery, but I am open and obviously I trade one day at a time. So I just found that really interesting. There you have it. And tomorrow's trading range. Let's get back to that. See if I see anything else. And I don't think so. I think that pretty much covers it, but have fun, trade safe, take profits when you're up, and I will see you guys tomorrow.